choice and if you choose to change, you're at the right place. Welcome to week 3 of the Candido's training program. This week uh, was called Linear Max OT Phase. Max OT stands for Maximum Overload Training. Basically means that we had to do less sets, less reps but higher weight. Uh, in the introduction you could see that on Monday I ate twice as much as normally, so I did kind of pig out. I tried to compensate this on Tuesday by eating 1500 calories, but I did keep my protein intake at 1.8 grams per kilo of body weight. It resulted in an average of 200 to 300 calories more in the end of the week. So you can see if you pick out one day you can pretty much fuck up your whole week. I also slept less this week than previous week. The highlights for this week are the a new setup for the bench. I will commentate this either on day 2 or day 4 so you can check for that. I also did pause that list for the first time. I will discuss those on day 3. And um, then there's on day 4, the last set of the bench, I did a 7 second grind to get it up. It's worthy of uh, looking at. Now I will let you enjoy the rest of the clip and the music. I'll see you at day 2. At day one I told you I had a new way to set up for the bench, as you can see here in a sped up way. I basically put my shoulder blades together and towards the bench, I will push them in the bench, then I just put my ass or glutes, whatever you want, down on the bench and I'll place my feet directly under my knees or a little bit behind the knees. This feels more comfortable for me and I will try this more often as you can see here. Now, next thing up is the pause that lifts at the next day. Yeah. 
Okay, so I lied, I'm here already, not at the post that lifts. The reason why I want to say something is that I noticed at day one that my heel was from coming off the ground while squatting. I tried to focus on keeping my foot flat, or my feet flat, as you can see here, but there is one repetition where I come up with my heel, I think, yeah, this one. So I need to focus on keeping both my foot flat on the ground while squatting. The pause deadlift. It should help with uh, getting a better form for the conventional deadlift. As you can see here, while you get up just above the ground, you have a small pause before you go up the whole way. And if you look really closely, you can see that my under back or the lower back is really straight, even at the point where I get the weight from the ground. I did notice that when I do a conventional deadlift this is not always the case so I will do these pause deadlifts as a, a variation deadlift on the days that I <clears throat> on the days that I have to do a variation deadlift.
this day I had to do three sets of six repetitions with uh, 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. I did not take enough rest between the previous set and this one because the other sets I had the feeling that I could rep out 10 of them and you'll notice that at the last one I have really a lot of trouble to get it up so the last one will come now. As you can see here it takes 7 seconds for me to get it up. I did not have a spotter and I told myself that I had to get it up so that's what I did. Yeah. 